Hello everybody, Jack here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to set up the BitTorrent transmission web UI. So I have a VM running, it's headless, it's Ubuntu 18.04. Right now there's nothing that you can see here, but uh, that's all about to change. So to start off, uh, you should SSH into your server. And uh, you need to install a lot of these different packages. And I should say that I'm using this on the desktop version of Ubuntu and I'm running it as a server, but you can do this on the server OS. And there's more information on this in the description below. But to start off, just install this stuff here. And then transmission daemon. and uh, let it all install. Once that's installed, you can go down to the configuration part. So you need to get root access. Now on Ubuntu, getting root access is a little bit difficult. Like if I do sue right here, it's not gonna work because they have it disabled. But luckily, we can do sudo-s and get root anyways. So, When you install this on Ubuntu or Debian, you can see that the symlink and the systemd services start automatically. If you're running something else other than Ubuntu and you're doing this on, you'll have to do this manually. But uh, we need to stop the service because we need to edit it. So we'll need to do stop transmission daemon. Okay, from here, we can do nano far lib trans transmission daemon info settings at json so in this area we need to edit our settings and the thing we need to edit is we need to find rpc password so rpc password is where is it right here this is some weird password here we can change this to whatever we'd like it to be and i'm going to change it to one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we need to change the RPC whitelist. And uh, the whitelist basically just means that after one, two, seven, we can add a comma and we can add in the new IP. And this will just make sure that, uh, essentially it will make sure that all IP addresses on the LAN can connect to it. And uh, there we go with that. Actually, I made a mistake here, so we need to do it this way. All right, so after that, you can just click O Control O to save, and uh, the RPC whitelist should be working just fine. Now we can exit it out. From here, we need to create a new user, or at least we need to add the user to the group. So I'm going to add my default user to the group. So I'm gonna do user mod dash A dash G And after that, we can start up the transmission daemon again. So when the transmission service starts up, you can go ahead and minimize the terminal because from here we need to worry about what's going on in the web browser. So the web browser is just the host name, so we got the host name here, and then port 9091, so 9091. Enter the username, which is transmission, and then we can log in. And now we have the transmission web UI. So from here, we can torrent basically anything and it will show up in our server here that I have running. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to Ubuntu alternative downloads because yes torrents can be used for legal things too 
and uh, we can find this link. It's basically you just copy a link to a torrent and then you click open, add the URL and then upload. It should go through automatically and there we go. We have our transmission web UI downloading on a server. We can download our stuff directly through that. We don't need to have it open on our desktop. If we want to, we can run this VM and just do other things. We can suspend the VM, um, and uh, if you if you install this on a on a regular hardware server without a VM, it's also pretty good too. Anyways, guys, just a quick setup on how to get the Transmission Web UI server working on Linux. Please check the article in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video.